You're watching KMNH, kids making the news happen. Hi, I'm Omer. I'm Larkin. I'm Azalea. I'm Emmy. I'm Tula. Hi, I'm Larkin. It's Thursday, July 9th, and you're watching KMNH, kids making the news happen. On today's broadcast, we bring you part two of our three segment series with Connie Neighbor. Yesterday, we learned how Connie started an orphanage in Tanzania. Today, we learned what it's like to live there. When you came and talked to our Happen Teens, we were all really interested in what the kids eat and how you cook. Can you tell your viewers what you told us? So it seems like you guys were really interested because we have the same rotating meal every week. And we have, um, as our main, um, our main meal, we have rice and we have ugali, which is like flour and water. We have spaghetti and then one day a week we have burritos. So that rotates every week with different vegetables and you know the vegetables are really nice because they're just grown in country and they're nice for the season. So the, ro the vegetables rotate. We also have a, um, a green from the garden that they always eat. I don't eat it. Um, it's just like a Chinese, it's called, they call it Chinese. It's um, a green that they cook. So it would be like cooking maybe spinach or something like that. So they have that probably three, four times a week. For breakfast, they'll have maybe porridge or we have ginger and cinnamon tea um, with bread and peanut butter or um, sweet potatoes is the other, the other day. So that's a, that's a rotation of those three things that we have for breakfast. So I know it sounds kind of bland, but you know, we don't have any sugar. We don't have any, drink any caffeine. We don't have sodas. We drink water and that's about it. So um, every once in a while at the end of the month, we do have a, um, we do have a, a um, allowance for them. And if they do these certain things throughout the month, then we do have a nice, um, then we do have a nice called chips my eye. So it's like going out for pizza and a soda. So the chips my eye is like um, fried, uh, fried potatoes with egg on top and maybe some ketchup and some vegetables, maybe some slaw or something on top. Sounds maybe not so good, but it's actually really good. So um, the end of the month, we always have chips my eye and a soda. So lunch, if we have, uh, we try to, we try to uh, keep, keep our stove used because we cook with gas. Um, we try to keep that to a minimum. So we cook rice once a day, and then we have rice for lunch and then rice for dinner. And then maybe change up the vegetables or something like that, or change up the greens, change up a fruit. Um, but we always have a vegetable, a starch, and a fruit with every meal. So, um, and then at lunch, depends on if they're home or at school, at school, they usually have maybe rice and beans, and then the next day they'll have rice and beans, and then the next day maybe they just have some porridge. So the school meals are, they never get any vegetables, um, never get any fruit. My kids that go to boarding school, so I have kids that from like seventh grade through high school, they usually go at boarding and stay in boarding. And they, um, I have to give them extra money because they do not serve any vegetables, maybe fruit, I think they get fruit once a week. So you can imagine their digestive system isn't all that great sometimes because they're not eating properly. So, um, you know, they do sell vegetables and they can get a little, little um, serving of vegetables every day or twice a day with their meals. We also have a gas burner. It's like two burners that we cook with gas, but um, we try to keep our, we try to keep our, um, um, our costs down. So we will cook outside with wood at times. Um, you know, we don't like to do that too because of the environment, but um, so, what, and we, and I did have some induction, an induction stove that I took over, but it seemed to break. break. So um, we're looking actually to buy a stove because then we can cook with electric, which would be a lot cheaper to you. So, um, and, and we don't have an oven, so we can't ever bake anything. Um, we can't bake cookies or we can't bake um, bread. Or we can't put any, we don't have an oven to, to use at all. So you're going to purchase a stove for the kids. Can you tell us what's involved and what it means to have a stove in the orphanage? So yeah, we're gonna purchase a stove for the kids and um, they're pretty, I've told them we're gonna do it soon. So they're pretty excited because, um, you know, the older kids, especially the girls, they don't know how to bake at all. And all of our kids know how to cook because they all are in charge of cooking. The staff does not cook for them. I mean, they help, but they don't cook for them. So, um, you know, I've tried, when I'm, I'm there three months a year, I've tried to make cookies on the stovetop, and it just doesn't go so well. Um, 
there's times where I like, would like to put maybe even a casserole in the oven, um, and you just, there's just, you can't. Or, you know, to teach them to break bread or make a cake for their birthday, you know, just like a, you know, you might at home here. So it'd be nice just to do some of those, you know, almost mother-daughter family things that you do with an oven sometimes. Um, and, and baking and cooking with electric would actually save us a lot of money. So um, there is actually an appliance store in town. So I actually checked it out the last time I was there and just didn't, you know, just didn't buy it at the time. So um, I've uh, recently called them and tried to get a little bit of a discount, which I did. And um, they will deliver it and hook it up for us. And um, it'll just be a matter of fact of trying to teach right now, teach the kids how to use an oven over Zoom or over the internet because nobody, nobody there knows how to use the oven. What are their favorite meals? Um, you know, they really like those, those greens from the garden, but when I am in town, uh, I usually take them to a, uh, one of the tourist restaurants and we have pizza. So I would say most of them are going to say pizza and orange, um, orange soda or pineapple soda or one of those two. Every once in a while, you get a chips my eyes, their favorite meal, but mostly it's going to be pizza. <laughs> Happentine programs have one theme, to have fun and make a difference. We, the Happentines, have decided to help make a difference today for our friends in Tanzania. We are going to raise $350 for the purchase of a stove for the orphanage, and you can help by making a donation below or going to happeninc.org and clicking on the donate button. Together, we can make a difference. Tune in tomorrow for our final segment with Connie Neighbor and her kids in Tanzania. Yesterday, Happen Teens donated a little muscle to move and spread 19 yards of mulch in front of White Castles on Hamilton Avenue. The mulch was purchased by the Northside Business Association. We started in the morning with donuts and then we quickly turned to shoveling mulch. It was a hot but rewarding day as Happen Teens make a difference in Northside. Okay, it's hot today, but there are some cooler temperatures in sight, so just hang in there. Today is 92 with a small chance of rain. I'm Tulip with the KMNH weather update. Thank you to Morsu and Nosh for sponsoring today's KMNH weather report. Some roads in Northside are getting a much needed facelift this summer. We thought we would let you know if your street is getting some pothole relief. Bruce Avenue from Hamilton Avenue to Kirby Avenue, Elmore Court from Colrain Avenue to West Terminus, Golo Street from Hoffner Street to Vandalia Avenue, Mad Anthony Street from Spring Grove Avenue to App Jones Street, Marble Alley from Turrell Street to Delaney Street, Marble Street from Delaney Street to Joe Williams Street, Pitts Avenue from Holland Place to Bruce Avenue, Saxon Avenue from Howard Avenue to Hamilton Avenue, and Vandalia Avenue to Hoffner Street to Hamilton Avenue, Virginia Avenue from Chase Avenue to Kirby Avenue. Today's word of the day is confection. No, not infection, like everyone's concerned about. It's confection, spelled C-O-N-F-E-C-T-I-O-N. Confection is defined as a dish or delicacy made with sweet ingredients. It can be used in a sentence such as a platter of candy and confections. Now money can't buy love or friendship, but it would mean the world to us if you became Happens BFF. BFF, of course, stands for best friend forever, but here at Appen, it also means a little something else. Business, family, and friends. All you need to do to become a BFF supporter is make a small donation. Just go to happening.org and click on the donate link. We thank all past, present, and future BFF donors. Thanks for tuning in to KMNH, kids making the news happen. KMNH is brought to you by Happen, Inc., and is filmed in the Happen Studio in Northside on the corner of Chase and Hamilton. I'm Omer. I hope that you've enjoyed this broadcast. 
and I hope that you will tune in again tomorrow for more Kids Making the News Happen.